Hi folks, Stratman from Pipware.com here. Today I'm going to talk about sessions and specifically why I have arranged the default template or the default settings for the dashboard the way I have. Now there's a lot of teaching out there where people teach you about sessions and uh, so on and, and uh, in the end it really all is about each person's own opinion on how the market operates. In reality the Forex market really is a 24 7 day a week operation. In fact, even though most of you know that your your platform for trading Forex is closed during the weekends, trading is still occurring um, between the major institutions if they so wish over the weekends. Just look at your platform when you open back up again on, on uh, the next week and you'll see that prices have moved over the weekend. So what, what we need to get to is what is the concept that we need to apply to be able to say that a session is a session and a day is a day in terms of forex because each of us live in different countries and our days start at different times. The first fundamental thing we need to kind of cover is that, that there is no specific open and close time for a particular market like for instance London. We say that London has just opened or London has just closed or New York has opened or New York has closed. They are quite difficult concepts because there is no actual act of opening and closing. What we're really referring to is the fact that the majority of traders within those specific countries, the big institutional traders, are more likely to trade within their own business hours. So what we typically do in Forex is we we take, well I personally take, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. as being the, the trading time for a particular country. So for London, it's going to be for me GMT 8 a.m. through to GMT 5 p.m. Same thing for the United States. I'll say that the United States market opens at 8 a.m. New York time and closes 5 p.m. New York time. Right, that brings us to a very important point. If we look at our broker, we can get a clue as to when the, the trading week starts for us retail traders and when it ends. So on my platform, um, I've got a time with the exclamation mark here. That's because my broker is closed because this is currently Friday afternoon New York time uh, or evening and it's Saturday morning New Zealand time. If I press Control M, I can see what my broker time stopped at. So my broker stopped receiving ticks on my behalf to my platform at 20.59.59, which is 9 p.m. Uh, GMT. Now that is exactly 5 p.m. at the moment due to um, different time zones and daylight saving. That equates to New York 5 p.m. So one important concept here is that our broker's platform is closing at 5 p.m. New York. Now I can tell you that my platform will start up at approximately 5 p.m. New York on a Sunday afternoon. Now does that mean that New York is open for trading? No it doesn't but it, it brings out an important concept that a day and a week for Forex should really start at 5 p.m. New York. So my broker platform opens on Sunday at 5 p.m. and closes on Friday at 5 p.m. That means I can divide my week up into five sessions um, starting at 5 p.m. New York and I get five equal sessions of 24 hours. That's the first thing that we need to get into our mind so whenever I set up my dashboard with its sessions I always take the start of the day and this is in, in GMT time here because that's what my broker is the start of the day will always be 2100 GMT at the moment and the end of the day will be 2100 GMT the next day. In other words 5 p.m. New York. Okay. Now with that said, we can start looking at what are the major sessions around the world. Well most people know that we've, we split the market up into three sessions which is the Asian session, the European and the United States session. For me, I split it up slightly differently because my waking hours are, are pretty much in the Asian session and I'm going to bed kind of just into the first few hours of London. So what I do is if we take a quick look here, each row within the dashboard I set up as having 
um, basically a nine hour session for uh, the United States and London. So you can see clearly here at GMT zero we're eight to seventeen hundred. At uh, for the states it's twelve uh, lunchtime through to nine p.m. in the evening uh, GMT. Now. I can, I can actually change these times to my own local times to make it a bit easier for me. I can do that through the dashboard. I'll just quickly change that setting now. Um, so for me, you can um, see that London starts at 9 p.m. New Zealand time, finishes at 6 a.m. in the morning. Uh, the States starts at 1 a.m. in the morning and finishes at 10 a.m. in the morning. Now, this is important because some people will tell you that the trading around the world starts in New Zealand. If it did, why don't we start our trading day at 8 a.m. New Zealand time? Well, because really 5 p.m. New York is the most important thing. What we need to say is it's technically, yes, trading starts in New Zealand because uh, the sun comes up there first for the new day. But I will not start counting up the day until New York 5 o'clock, which is 10 a.m. New Zealand time. OK, so uh, and finishing 10 a.m. the next day. Okay, go back to GMT times for you. Now, we've already talked about how we're going to have the United States uh, having its 9-hour session from 8 a.m. New York to 5 p.m. New York. London's going to be its, its 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. GMT time. Um, I also like to count Frankfurt in there on its own. It's, a, it's an hour earlier, um, so 7 a.m., uh, mainly because... We quite often see in that hour between Frankfurt and London opening um, a, a quite a significant move, and quite often the market will move one way, and then getting into London it will suddenly move back the other way. So it's I, I like to have that shown there. Also, um, not shown here right now is that as each market opens, each line here highlights to show you which one markets open. Now, an important thing is if you can imagine an imaginary line through here. You'll see that I've made this session here close at 7 a.m. in the morning. That's not strictly true because this is only, I'm saying, a seven-hour session. That should really be finishing about 9 o'clock because uh, the Asian session and or Tokyo, Hong Kong and so on and Frankfurt and London overlap a little bit. But what I like to do is have it so my pips counting up for the day, which are out here, kind of end counting for the Asian session just before Frankfurt opens and then I can see what London and Frankfurt are putting into the market themselves. So clearly I can see that Frankfurt did 114 um, and the total for the day would be totalizing up um, for me based on that. So I can see immediately how much Frankfurt's done. It will start at zero as soon as 7 a.m. occurs there. So uh, And this here stops. So I can see quite significantly a mark difference in when Tokyo Hong Kong are operating. The other thing is I have another couple of lines here. Uh, one is, if I just look at these two, New Zealand and Sydney, I combine them together. I've given them basically New Zealand time and I'm starting them at the start of the day. Um, even though it's not start of New Zealand, it's it's the start at 5 p.m. New York. And I just let that run for three hours and I can see what that little session puts in. And it gives me a bit of a heads up as to what's going on for the day. I expect typically about 40 pips and that's what we have kind of had traditionally. The other big one for me is this one I call the Asian breakout. Now a lot of people have Asian breakout strategies and they have a start time and an end time that, that they just use for themselves. Some people will give these weird and wonderful names like something or other channels and stuff like that but essentially all you have to do is decide what your start time is. I'm suggesting New York 5 p.m. Uh, and my end time is, I think the Asians are pretty much got their act together about five, uh, sorry, about uh, lunchtime, Hong Kong time. So um, I draw that up here. You can have the other sessions drawn up here actually um, showing their ranges as well. I might pop that up shortly. But um, the important thing about the Asian breakout or Asian session breakout is that if you project the lines on from the end of that session, which is shown by these vertical lines to the rest of the day, we quite often see support and resistance points. Um, being respected by that. Um, so this was today, this was yesterday. So I've just added the lines on um, to show you the range for uh, London and the States and you can see here from the colour coding key here um, we can see that that was the start and end of the uh, London session, this is the start and the end of the, the US session and the appropriate range is shown there, that was for yesterday. 
So um, this whole sessions business is really important for your trading. I hope this has been helpful for you to understand how the market sessions operate. Um, and we'll catch you around.